Yo, what's going on guys, Kultimush back at it with top 5 best GPUs for the money for the month of March 2016. A lot of you guys have been requesting me to update this series the last time I did a video like this, I believe was in the beginning of January, so it has been a while, a lot of prices have changed, so let's go over them. But before I get into this video, I just want to say that if you guys can wait, I would highly recommend to wait until AMD or Nvidia releases their new video cards. The rumor is Pascal is supposed to come around June to July, but that's all speculation. But if it's not an emergency for you to get a video card right now, I would just wait because when new video cards come out, not only will you have more options because obviously new GPUs are being released, but existing GPUs prices always go down whenever new cards are released. And right now, a lot of the prices for video cards are pretty disgusting. And I would hate to be someone that does buy an expensive video card and then 3-4 months down the line, new GPUs are out, the GPU just bought dropped by $100 and you're kind of screwed. But with that being said, if you're okay taking the risk, let's get right into this with the top 5 best GPUs of March. So starting things off with number 5, it's the Sapphire Nitro Radeon R7 360. This is a 2GB video card for only $100, and there's a $15 mail-in rebate knocking it down to $85. Now obviously, an $85 GPU is by no means a world beater, but if you're looking for a low-end video card to put in a pre-existing pre-built computer from, say, HP, Dell, or something like that, and you just want something that can run games like League of Legends, Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, World of Warcraft at better frame rates, then the R7 360 is a pretty good option. Not only that, the 360 can actually hold its own in some of the higher-end games. It can run a game like Fallout 4 at medium settings and get 30 frames per second. Now, while that might not be the ideal PC gaming experience, if you're spending only $85, you're probably not expecting the ideal PC gaming experience. The fact is, with a GPU like this, you can play all of those popular PC games that a lot of you guys are just looking to play, games like League, games like Dota, and if you want, you can dabble in some of the higher-end games at lower frames and lower settings. Moving on to number 4, we're gonna jump straight into the $200 bracket because right now the GTX 950 is a terrible deal, and the R7 370 is also a pretty bad deal, so I would highly recommend to stay away from those two GPUs and just save up a bit of money and get the XFX R9 380X, which is number for this GPU is available for $235, and while that does sound very expensive, there is a $20 mail-in rebate, and there's a 10% off promo code on Newegg right now that I will leave in the description box down below. The thing is, if you buy a GPU like the R7 370 or a GTX 950, you're going to be getting a gaming experience that really resembles the consoles. The GTX 950 obviously does a bit better than consoles, but it's not to an enormous degree that you'll really notice. With a video card like the XFX R9 380X, you're really starting to reap the benefits of PC gaming, as in you can turn up a lot of settings, and you're going to be getting a much better frame rate than what you were on consoles. And a GPU like this still doesn't break the bank. It's like $195 if you use the mail-in rebate and the promo code, and that's not terrible. Also, if you buy this video card right now, you will get a free copy of Ashes of the Singularity, so that's pretty nice too. And as far as performance goes, the R9 380X is going to give you a really solid 1080p gaming experience. You're going to be playing games like The Witcher 3 at high settings at 45 to 50 FPS, Fallout 4 maxed out at 50 frames per second, Metal Gear Solid 5 maxed out at 60 FPS. That's really great performance for a GPU that is still on the budget end. So right now, the R9 380X from XFX is a really good option. You get a free game, it's only $190, and you're going to be getting great performance. Number 3 is the PNY GeForce GTX 970. This is a 4GB video card. And I know PNY is definitely not the premier NVIDIA GPU manufacturer, but all of the experience I've had with PNY GPUs have been fairly positive. And the fact is, if you register the video card within 90 days of purchasing it, you get a free lifetime warranty. Typically, this video card goes for around $320, but right now, Newegg has it available for $310, and there's a $40 mail-in rebate knocking it down to $270. Not only that, this GPU also comes with a free copy of The Division right now, so this is one of the killer deals available right now as far as GPUs go. Because if you use the mail-in rebate, it's already a good deal. $270 for a GTX 970 is very good, but the fact you get The Division as well for free, that's essentially a $40 to $50 value, so in turn, you get this GPU for like $230, which is insane for a 970. And I've talked about the 970 several times. While it does get some flack, and rightfully so for it only having 3.5 gigabytes of memory, the 1080p performance you get out of the GPU is phenomenal. You're talking about playing every game at really high settings, getting 60 frames per second. It just provides you the optimal 1080p gaming performance for a really good price right now. Unless the game is poorly optimized, the GTX 970 can run the majority of titles at really high settings at 60 frames per second, and it is the best experience you can get at 1080p. And if you guys really don't want the PNY GTX 970, the EVGA one is available for around $310, and that does come with the Division as well. 
Moving on to number two, the Gigabyte Radeon R9 390 8GB video card is available for $300, and this will come with a free copy of Hitman. The GTX 970 and the R9 390 always go back and forth. It really comes down to do you prefer an NVIDIA video card or do you prefer an AMD video card, or in this case, do you prefer a copy of The Division or do you prefer a copy of Hitman? The R9 390 does outperform the GTX 970 in the majority of cases, and it does much better at 1440p gaming as well. And while that 8GB of VRAM does sound a bit outrageous, it is very nice to have, and considering you're getting this GPU for a flat $300, no rebate or anything like that, it is a really good deal. But if you do buy a video card like this, I would highly recommend having a 1440p monitor as well. While the 390 doesn't do exceptionally well at that resolution, it can definitely hang at that resolution. And if you are playing some of the older games, this GPU will wreck those games at 1440p. And even some of the newer games, you will be able to run them at 1440p, just not maxed out 60fps. And anyway, even if you're playing on a 1440p monitor, you can change the game to play at 1080p, so it's all good. And the R9 390 has been one of the most prominent GPUs on the market alongside the GTX 970 for a very long time now. And I don't see the R9 390's price going any lower until new GPUs come out, so now's not a bad time to pick it up. Finally, we got the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 980 Ti. This is a 6GB video card. This is the Windforce OC edition. Typically goes for around $650, but right now Newegg has the price slashed to $600 flat, and you get a free copy of The Division. So this is a really good deal. Yes, it's very expensive. This video card is obviously for the top tier PCs, but if you're in the market for a GTX 980 Ti, you're getting the video card for $600 and you're getting a free copy of The Division, that's pretty good. I should mention that if you buy a video card like this right now, this is the kind of GPU that you're going to get really, really burned on. With Pascal coming out, you know they're going to make a better $600 video card whenever that releases. So if you can wait, especially for those of you in the market for a 980 Ti, I would highly recommend waiting. But if you can't wait, right now it's available for a really good price and with a free copy of The Division. So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. As always, thank you for watching. If you have a request for a future video, leave it in the comment section down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.